we just picked the kid up from school and we're taking him to the Houston Science Museum. Well, rather, we're at the Houston Science Museum, which is pretty awesome. I'll show you about. I would have loved to go to the museum right after school. Right. I never got to do that. And Super Fast is the kind of kid who, aside from loving his military vehicle encyclopedia, he also enjoys learning about bacteria. That's right. So this is the perfect place for him. You know where I went after school? Where? To the restaurant to go help my <laughs> parents. Yeah. Well, I shoveled poop in a barnyard, so there you go. <laughs> This museum is super amazing. I lo look at this, you guys. Look at these shells. <sighs> so cool, right? Love it. I like to collect fossils and rocks. Super fast like shells. So this is some good inspiration for us right here. Although I don't find shells like this. Texas freshwater mussels. What do you think about my, my voice here for the, is this good? I love it. Now we're going deep into the depths of mollusks of Texas and the Gulf of Mexico. Next, we will explore cephalopods. That's my cephalopod voice. Say conch three times fast. You guys, now this has, this looks like an alien being here, doesn't it? Super cool, dude! How about this? Now we, I'd like to introduce you to the family Pectinidae, all, otherwise known as scallops. Wait, look over here super fast, there's some bacteria. Check this out. Yeah, that's an algal plate. A microbial stromatolite mat is a multi-layered sheet of microorganisms, mainly bacteria and algae. <laughs> this 305 million year old fossil features traces of a feeding trackway. Weird. That's what bacteria looks like. That's not what it looks like under our microscope, but... Like when millions of them get together. Oh yeah, they're having a big old party oh. over here. Today we will explore the building blocks of life. And guys, I'm really excited about these trilobites because it's just something that I think is cool. You know? What do you think? I'm gonna decorate my house with trilobites. Maybe I'll use that as an insult for people. You trilobite. Yeah. because it's cool. So these are called stromatolites, and they're really cool. Check this out. Nearly 3.5 billion years ago, the air on Earth lacked the oxygen to support most modern day plants and animals. The oceans were extremely acidic, and the sun's ultraviolet light was powerful enough to kill most of today's living organi organisms. Despite these dismal conditions, life appeared, survived, and evolved. And from these early building blocks of life come my ex-boyfriends. Hey, copy. Okay. If the metal's exterior support, it's real. Really? That's a real Triceratops found in 2007. It's currently number one in the world. Wow. wow. Now I need to ask you, sir, who's your favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite one? The head banging dinosaur. We, do, we don't have him here. We have a copy down at our Sugarland location. Do we really? Okay. And keep in mind, your membership includes Sugarland. Okay. okay. So Let's if you're ever down there, you know, he's kind of kind of graduated from that museum, but since you remember, just check it out. Okay. Yeah. Do you like T Rex? T Rex? Triceratops? Triceratops? We do have a real T Rex, sir. Do you the one really? in the corner found in Montana. Oh, wow. That's a real. And the long neck is real. Look at the teeth. 
Thanks for watching our video, you guys. We just thought we'd share this with you. Have a good one.